Hi guys, Ray from Whimsical Pictures here, and I have absolutely no excuse for not putting up a weekly manga wrap-up this week. Uh, I've just been focusing on other things, but today I am bringing you a TBR for Diversathon 2017, which starts tomorrow. <laughs> And this time it is being hosted by four different people. I'll link their channels in the description below. I know Joss from Squibbles Reads is one of them, as well as Simon from Savage Reads. Those are two channels I follow regularly. But basically the goal for this readathon is to read more diversely, uh, specifically focusing on own voices authors. So authors writing about a protagonist who belongs to the same groups that they do. So like a black author writing about a black character or a gay author writing about a gay character. And I think this is a really important initiative and I like to see so many people participating. I didn't get to participate myself last time. Instead, I just made a video recommending some manga about diverse themes, so I will link that in the description if you're interested in it. But this time, I am going to participate. As I said, it starts tomorrow and goes until next Sunday. And for this, I am probably not going that far outside my comfort zone, honestly. I do have a lot of books uh, on my shelves right now that I need to get to that are from a variety of own voices authors from around the world. But this time, because my JET interview is looming on the 1st of February, I would like to focus on Japanese literature. So I will be reading some books from my shelves that I haven't read yet that are Japanese literature. And uh, yeah, I have four books here, so without further ado, I guess. The first one I want to read is... Hard Boiled and Hard Luck by Banana Yoshimoto, uh, translated by Michael Emmerich. And I really enjoyed Kitchen recently. That was my first Banana Yoshimoto book that I've ever read. So I am looking forward to reading more from her. And I am in love with this cover. I just love it. That was why I picked it up in the first place, to be honest. <laughs> But this is a collection of two novellas by her, Hard Boiled and Hard Luck. So it should be perfect for a readathon because it's short and her writing is quite accessible and easy to get through, I find. So other than that, I don't really know anything about the story. Uh, but since it is Banana Yoshimoto, I think I will enjoy it. The next one I'm going to plan on reading is the Stones Cry Out by Hikaru Okuizumi. This I just found in a used bookstore at some point and it seemed interesting. This is uh, apparently the winner of Japan's most prestigious literary award and appears to be counted as sort of a classic. So I am really looking forward to it. It's only like a hundred pages long. So again, perfect for a readathon. The next book I'm looking forward to reading is Out by Natsuo Kirino. I enjoyed Real World from her a while back, but um, I had some issues with it. This book is by and large uh, regarded as her best one, I think, and it is the most well-known. It is about a group of housewives who are conspiring to cover up a murder. And I really enjoy her fast-paced, sort of brisk, suspenseful writing style and her very staunchly feminist point of view, so I am really looking forward to reading this. This one is a bit bigger though, so I don't know how much I'll get through it. And then the last one is filling up one of the biggest holes in my reading experience, especially my Japanese uh, literature reading experience, and that is the hole shaped like Haruki Murakami. I have been planning to read one of his books for a long time, 
Um, I also have Kafka on the Shore, and I got for my dad one Q84, which he actually read over Christmas, so he is way ahead of the Murakami curve compared to me. Um, I'm not ready to read that hulking monster of a book, but I have been planning to start my Murakami adventure with the Wind Up Bird Chronicle for a while. Uh, this sounds fantastic and surreal and weird and just amazing. So yeah, I am looking forward to this. And those are the books that I'm planning to read for Diversifon. I don't dare add any more because I do have to prepare for this interview. Um, and I am a slow reader to begin with, but I am really looking forward to per finally participating in a Diversicon for the first time. I hope I'll be able to participate in the future ones as well, and I hope some of you will be encouraged to participate as well. Uh, bye guys. Happy reading.